So guys, building a house is simple, guys. Building a house is simple. This is higher level stuff and it gets your head going. But how do you get there? You get there one step at a time. A baby's not born and doesn't start running, right? A baby has to walk first. A baby has to crawl, then a baby walks, then a baby can run, okay? And one of the biggest things is I love building houses because it's profitable. We still build houses today because every time we build them, we know we're gonna make money. And where we were making $110,000 a house, we now make about $280,000 on every single house we build. And the way we do that is we, we don't go shop for land inside, we don't go shop for land anywhere. We find a business model that works. And the business model is the business model that I went over earlier, where you go find a demographical area that supports the business model that I gave you. There's a subdivision called Lockatheo Ridge in, Scott, in uh, Cave Creek, that's mine. I built that subdivision. Um, years back in like 2000 and, uh, when did I start that subdivision? 2012, I think, I bought that land. And we went in and we scraped one road straight down it. And I built six homes on one side, six homes on the other side. There's 12 homes in that little subdivision. And that subdivision bared us several millions of dollars in profit. We, I think we made about $250,000 back in those days it was a lot of profit for each single family home. And so you guys have land all around you guys. The land here is a little bit more expensive, but it's available. You guys can go down to Chandler. You guys can go down to Mesa. You guys follow the light rail. You know, that was a big topic of conversation this morning. Follow the light rail and just as the light rail expands. So when you have the affluency to do so, you have the option to pick and choose. So guess what demographic we're picking? The upper 24%. We're hitting strategically the upper 24% of the upper middle class. These are the people that constitute for the 14% of home buyers that are buying homes cash right now. So mortgage rates don't matter. And so we position ourselves to go after the demographics first. Once we find the demographical area that's building those homes, then we shop for land in that area. That's where we buy land. That's where we build, okay? Building is, is easy, guys. Uh, I know it seems hard, but it's not. But think about it. If you're doing skip tracing and you're sitting down finding properties, that's harder work than building a house. Believe you me, it is, okay? We can teach you guys the rest of it. Building a house is simple. There's a step-by-step -step sequence of how you build it. And you know what I love more about building a house than anything? Is that it's unforeseen variables. Every single house you build is the exact same process. Guess what's the same as building houses? Building apartments with the exception of civil engineering, grading and drainage, and fire sprinklers. Outside of that, building an apartment complex is exactly the same as building a house. It has the exact same process, okay? Building is easy. And like some of these guys that are in our courses, we give you guys everything. We give you guys spreadsheets, Excel sheets, expense sheets. We give you guys the exact direction. We give you guys everything that you guys need and the resources to be able to do so. If you have interest in learning that, get with Steven. Steven will help you, okay? But yeah, um, and that's building houses, guys. I, like, I don't even know how, like, I know I make building houses seem like really simple because it really is. Um, I mean, I, I, a dude on a motorcycle showed up one day, we were pouring a foundation for a builder and I didn't know what these guys made because we're like in and out. But this one dude kept showing up on a Harley um, bald head, bunch of rings, tattooed from his, from his armpits to his fingertips. Um, New Zealand dude, cool accent. He rolled up, looked like a cool cat. At that, at that day and age, he was probably in his 40s and I was in my 20s. And this dude rolls up on this Harley and he goes, and I kept seeing him, man. He was like in a, a Tommy Bahama shirt, looking like he just got off the beach, rolling around through New Mexico. And I'm like, shit, what does this guy do? And, he, and I talked to him one day and I said, bro, what do you do? And he goes, he goes, I own all the, I, he goes, I, I, own, I own these houses. These are my houses out here. And I said, how much you making on these? He goes, well, I reckon I better make at least 85,000 to 100,000 on this next one. I said, how much long do you think it take, it'll take you to build it? He goes, four months, four months. I said, four months, you can make 80,000? This was 1998, guys. And I said, 80,000 is like 20, 40, 60, 80, four months, freaking $20,000 a month I can add to my income, four months. And I said, what do you do the rest of the day? He goes, golf. And he show up for 30 minutes, drive away. So guess where I bought a lot? Two lots over for $35,000. In that day and age, the upper middle class, because the average median home was about $160,000, was $380,000. Sold my first house for $380,000. It was the upper middle class at that time. And I made an $85,000 profit on my very first house. My dad and I sat down. My dad's an accountant. We built an Excel spreadsheet together. And we went through the step-by-step -step sequence one night at my house. And we went step-by-step -step through how to build a house, step-by-step -step on everything. And then I went and got bids. Got a set of plans made, put together that I poached from somebody else. I went into like DR Horn. I was taking pictures of their plans on their things, you know. 
And then I, and I didn't have, a, we didn't have smartphones back then. So you know those little plastic cameras? They're like the Kodak ones. You guys remember those? I shit you not. I was in there with a Kodak camera, friggin' taking pictures of the friggin' things. Yeah, yeah, winding it. That little winding thing on there, taking pictures of it. And then I go down to Walgreens and I go get them developed and then I get my pictures. And I told an architect, okay, I want you to build this, but just a little bit nicer. And that's how I went and did my first house. And I took it, it was super simple. So if you guys ever see the video where he says, I've been building houses for 25 years. I built this house. This is the very first house I built. I thought that house was going to fall down. I really did. I thought it sucked. It's still up and it still looks good. And I was like, damn, I didn't do as bad of a job as I thought I did. And that house is over 25 years old now. Okay? It's not that hard. It's an easy process. You know, if, if, if these contractors that aren't educated can do it, you can too. Okay? Anybody can do it. Real simple. Okay? And there's six-figure profits in every single one of them. I promise you. Okay? Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now, you guys might sit back and ask yourselves, why, Jerome, why do you do that? It's stupid. It's a stupid investment. It's not. I'm not investing in you. I'm not. I'm investing in me. But I'm investing in me to invest in you for you guys to get educated because I need you. I need you guys to get smart enough, you young people. I need you guys smart enough, all of you guys, to understand what I just did out here today. You guys can't do that without education. The difference is, is you can go to college, you can go get a psychology degree, you can spend $200,000 for a degree that's gonna bury you $60,000 a year, you can do that. I, guys, I was paying $300 to go to training events back in 1993. That's how I got on this stage, guys. $300, they're less than that from over 30 years ago. Guys, this girl right here went to high school with me. She knows, she remembers when I was doing this stuff years ago, right? And I was doing it and everybody thought I was crazy. I was in pharmacy school. I dropped out of school and everybody was like, where the hell did Jerome go? He was in pharmacy school, about to graduate. Where the hell is he going? I went to go get rich. I went broke for three years and I was afraid to come home because I didn't want to look like a failure. But I kept paying $300, $300, $300, $300, $300. I'm like, damn, something's got to give. And finally I made it, guys. And that's how I got here. It starts right here, guys. I will spend three quarters of a million dollars for you guys to put this event on. I'll lose a half a million dollars putting this event on this year. I'll take it as a tax write-off. Don't worry about it. I'm going to cost seg it. No problem. I'm not going to pay taxes on it. Okay? But I'm going to do that for you guys. Because I know, you know one thing I know? That not every one of you guys is going to make it in here. I can tell you guys that. But I know there's somebody sitting in this audience right here today and they're sitting back going, fuck, I want to do what this guy's doing. I want to figure this out. I want to learn. Like It's eating at me. Like This is like eating at me. Like If he can do it, I can do it. If I could do it, you can too. And I'm telling you guys, there's somebody that's eating in your gut right now. And you're sitting back and you're going, fuck, I can do this. I'm worthy of it. I know I can do this. With the right training, the right leadership, I can do it. And you guys might not do it overnight. It'll take you some time but you can do it and it's eating at you. And if I could find five of you guys that sit back and bring me deals and one of you guys brings me a 40 million, 50, $60 million deal and you guys carve off a little percentage of that, it's worth it to me because that one deal will pay for the whole event. Does that make sense? So if I educate you and you guys get proximity to us and we teach you this stuff, do you see why I do it? So if you guys sometimes say, well, if this guy's making so much money doing it, why the hell is he teaching it? I'm going broke teaching it, guys. I just put 100 grand of concrete money into my account to run this education business last month to serve you guys. 100 grand, my own money, into the education platform to pay payroll. Because I have 18 people that are building CRMs, that are selling for me, that are, uh, that are building out funnels and all this other bullshit that I don't understand. <laughs> doing ads and all the posts. I have two copywriters that work for me. I didn't even know it was such a big business. 18 employees. To see this, for you guys to see the social media you guys see. And it doesn't even pay for itself. I do it for you guys. Why? I don't make no money doing education. I make money off the deals that I educate you guys on how to bring to me and find for you. Does that make sense? And not all of you guys are gonna bring me deals. Some of you guys are gonna get it. You're gonna say, screw Jerome, man. Why am I gonna give him 95% of my deal? I'm gonna do this shit myself. That was me. And some of you guys will do that. And that's okay. All I ask you guys is when you do that, just come back and drop me a little love and say, hey, Jerome, I went to real estate. I went to your Build Well Summit. And I learned just one thing that allowed me to scale. Thank you. And I'll post it and I'll say, this guy had a small influence by us and that's why he made it. Do that for me and you guys have 100% of the recognition. Cool? All right. Who wants to join us at Real Estate Build Well Summit this year? 
I only brought two CEO tickets, they're $5,000 and they're backstage passes indefinitely. You guys can go backstage anytime. You guys eat dinner with us, lunch with us, every single day you guys are with us, all day, every day for two full days. And you guys get Thursday, a little mastermind on Thursday night as well. So you're around me the whole time. Those of you guys who are real ambitious, get the $5,000 ticket. I only brought two. So you guys only have two CEO passes for those of you guys who are real ambitious, okay? I got two of them right here today and that's all I have. Now I got uh, my platinum, we're only selling 50 of those. And I think I only brought maybe like seven or eight of those, not too many of them. And then I got my VIPs, we're selling 100 VIPs because we're limited on how, many, how much space we have for dinner. We can only seat 150 people. So between VIP, CEO and uh, platinum, they're all gonna be at our VIP dinner. So I only have like, I don't know, like 20 or 30 um, of the uh, VIP tickets. Get this QR code. If you guys pay today and you guys um, show me your receipt, we'll give you your actual tickets. If you guys don't get your tickets today, don't worry. Uh, we'll have you in our computer. The second you guys register, you guys go into our portal, those 18 employees I'm telling you about, they go into our portal. When you show up, we, you just give them your ID. We'll have you got your name there. We'll give you your Lanzar and your ticket on um, right at the event. So if you guys wanna scan that and buy it tomorrow, you can do that. But I will tell you guys the tickets are limited and we're limiting the amount. So get the QR code today and then get to, to uh, Build Well Summit. I promise, you guys spend a couple days with us. All right guys, I'm gonna hang around for a little bit here. You guys get with uh, Steven. Thank you guys for coming out. God bless you guys. You guys go out and go, you guys always compound. What? Your success, right? Yes. All right, thank you guys for coming. God bless you guys.